when making numerous changes to your data or integrating with an external source. Importing is a valuable tool for running this for you. From the File menu and the Import Flyout selection, choose the type of record you wish to import. Either create a new template from scratch by clicking the New button, or copy a default or other template with the Save As button. Give the template a unique name. Select the format of the file to import and either enter the file path and name or, from the Browse button, choose the target file. Select the Header Included option if the file has the first row with titles that needs to be skipped. Enable the Validate Before Importing option to check the complete file for any errors before importing begins. If not selected, each record is instead verified in turn as it is imported. Use Extended Character Set is necessary if text fields have French or other characters outside of the standard set. To prevent re-importing a file by accident, enable the option to delete the import file only if successful. If you regularly import files and would like to be prompted when a file is available, select Auto Import on Startup so that when you sign on, an import message appears. This option requires setting Delete File on Success and also the User Preferences setting to allow importing on sign-on. When importing master records such as customers or items, choose either Overwrite Records for updating existing data, Add New Records to create new data, or both. Choosing Add New Records typically requires a minimum set of required fields. When importing batches, Header fields on each record is necessary for Excel-style formatting of rows, repeating the header information for each row. Otherwise, a comma-separated values style of the first row having the header fields, followed by one or more rows with details. On the Import Field Selection tab, define the field list to match the columns in the import file. The left side lists all the available fields you could import, and the right side lists all the fields selected. To add a new field, locate it on the left and either double-click it or use the right arrow. To remove a selected field from the right, either double-click or use the left arrow. To reposition a field column, use the up or down arrows. Field order sometimes matters, such as when importing batches. If a column in the import file is not meant to be imported, use a filler and position it in the appropriate location to skip that information from being read. If every imported record will have the same value for a particular field, you can set this up on the Field Defaults tab. Any field not selected on the Import Field list can be chosen here, with the desired value. When setup is complete, save the template, which can be reused repeatedly without having to recreate the setup. Click the Import button to begin the process. Any validation errors in the file will be displayed, halting the import or skipping the bad record, and a complete list of errors can be viewed for correction. On success, the number of records added, overwritten, and skipped are displayed. A new batch or new transactions will be created. To see what an appropriate import format could be, using a matching export template is useful for investigating the file layout. And there are also formatting tips in the help file, which can also be downloaded from the website. Bring in a large volume of new records easily by using predefined import templates. For more information about Adagio Accounting, use these on-screen links or from the video description. Thanks for watching.